Hi there, uh, Fergal Byrne again here, and it's the 19th of April, 2014, and I just wanted to show you where we are with the simulation. What you've got here is uh, a much larger array of 64,000 cells, uh, which is about the same size as a new pick array. And at the moment, all that's happening is that we're the simulation is changing uh, the active cells and the, those are the red ones and the white ones are the previously active cells. So uh, there's just a bit of instrumentation here that's just telling me how long everything takes. And uh, so we're looking up to about 30 updates per second. Uh, and this is reading and writing to the atomic database. Okay. So what we can do next is uh, slow things down a bit. And, and I'm just after turning on the display of the synaptic links. Um, so these are pre-existing synaptic links that are going between the uh, previously active cells and the currently active cells. And you can see that there's only a small number of them um, at any given time. So I'm going to turn on learning. And basically what this is doing is it's uh, every time a cell becomes active it looks around in its neighborhood for previously active cells and then make sure that it has a connection to them. Okay, so you can see that going on for a short time now you can see the frame rate starts to drop off significantly because it has to do an awful lot more work. So that's really it for now. Um, I'm currently working on uh, speeding up this particular process uh, just to see if I can uh, eliminate some of the bottlenecks. Okay, talk to you again soon.